Hi Pisces, welcome to your June 2021 Love and Relationships reading. Thanks for joining me, my name is Michelle and this is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Pisces, I'll be doing my usual extended at the end of this read, so if this is your story, please do feel free to join me there. Uh, you can watch it two ways and that's new this month. You can continue to use the Vimeo and I'll have the link for that below if that's something that you'd like to do. New this month though I have an upgrade to my channel membership, my Band of Gypsies. At the top level you can now get access to all of the uh, extended reads for all of the signs. And not only that, you can also get early access to the YouTube readings. So if that's something you're interested in, you can click on the join button or look in the box below for more information to join my channel. I'd really appreciate uh, you uh, joining my channel and, and uh, uh, giving me your support there, guys. Okay, let's have a look here, Pisces. I'm going to start with your energy for June. The energy around Pisces, please, Spirit Guides. Okay, I'm going to take this one here. Triumph of Galatea. Okay, I like that energy. And let's have a look at the person that you are dealing with. Of course, this can be vice versa, so feel free to flip this out. Either side can resonate. Let's take a look at the person that you're dealing with, Pisces. The other side of this reading, we do have redemption. Okay. Someone redeeming themselves, let's hope. And uh, let's have a look here, guys, at the connecting energy. The connecting energy between these two people, we have hope. All right, Pisces, let's talk about it. Okay, Pisces, Triumph of Galatea. The energy that I'm getting around this is one of being watched. It feels like a watchful eye. Now, it could be you that's watching another person. Uh, I do feel like they've been a little bit careless. I get this kind of energy around uh, the other person of being a careless. Uh, so much so that they may have hurt you, Pisces. They've hurt someone. Uh, there's a need for them to look at uh, something that they have done here to recognize where they may need to say sorry. I feel like this is about an apology, but it has to be an apology that is heartfelt. Now hope is the energy between the two of you. I feel like this is hope for renewal. The way that I'm looking at this is we have this crown which is floating in midair which symbolizes the higher mind, knowledge, wisdom. And then we have this anchor which is a grounded energy. So I do feel like um, hope, hope and anchor. It feels like um, Okay, a renewal, a return. I'm getting a return here, guys, and somebody asking for forgiveness after hurting someone mm, by being a little bit frivolous or careless. Let's see where this goes, guys. Pisces, I'll start with your energy. I've already been meditating on these cards. So let's uh, do a few more shuffles here, guys, and we will get into the reading. Either side can resonate, of course. And if you're cross-watching, this could be a Pisces that you are dealing with. Let's get your energy. The energy around Pisces, focus, the hope for the future, how Pisces feels about the other person what's hidden or unexpected, the strengths, challenges, what's happening in the environment, advice for Pisces and the potential outcome. And let's look at the other person. And as I said, either side can resonate. So the person that Pisces is dealing with, let's take a look. I've already been meditating on these cards. So a couple more shuffles here and let's get started. Let's look at this person's energy, their focus, their hopes for the future, how they feel about Pisces, what's hidden, the strengths there, what are their challenges, 
Advice, oh, sorry, the environment, what's happening in the environment for this person, advice for this person, and the potential outcome. Okay, let's take a look here, guys. Uh, hope. Uh, hope is anchoring this reading. The hanging man. Yeah, they left you. They left you on. They left you on pause. Without any closure. Goodness. You know what? I don't think you've been that worried about it, Pisces. But I feel it's been. Hmm. An annoyance of some kind because uh, this person was around you and then suddenly it seems like uh, they let they they well I feel like they just kind of disappeared I get that kind of energy the three of swords in reverse okay so now they want to come back and heal it yeah they they hurt you by leaving you hanging I don't know what they were doing here guys we'll look at this throughout the reading but it seems like they need to ask your forgiveness for something that they've done uh, they want to heal this they want to uh, I feel like they want to communicate that there's an energy of them needing to communicate an apology to you to heal this your focus the Queen of Pentacles so Pisces at the moment I feel like you're focused on your, your work your business uh, your home uh, self-care you're doing all of that your your health your well-being so as I said I don't feel that you're overly <coughs> excuse me I'm overly concerned but uh, there seems to be a throat chakra energy that is uh, blocked uh, you're not talking to this person because they well, left you hanging I uh, don't feel that they've been talking to you let's see their focus is the king of pentacles I'm not picking up particularly earth sign but it, it could be of course uh, Taurus Virgo Capricorn I feel it's more an energy around this person of uh, focused on this anchor grounding energy grounding them needing to ground themselves because I do get this uh, feeling of flight around them which is a little bit odd but it feels like being very um, untethered uh, it feels like this person was trying to find uh, some stability in their life uh, things were very up in the air with this individual uh, they didn't really know what they where to focus their energy and it was during this time that I feel that you came into this person's life Pisces and they hurt you because they were not stable I feel like they're trying to they're trying to be more stable they're trying to be more uh, themselves is what I'm hearing okay your hopes around this for the future we've got the king of swords I do think you want to speak to this person you want to find out the truth what happened here uh, why did they just kind of leave you hanging uh, possibly ghosted you here Pisces their hopes for the future the Knight of Cups they want to come in and, and, uh, and offer that apology uh, they do it comes with a uh, it, it is heartfelt my spirit guide is saying this is heartfelt they actually feel quite bad for what they did here uh, Pisces actually very bad I don't know what they what they did let's uh, continue we'll see if we can find it out how you feel about this person the moon well you're thinking what the heck uh, you, you've got no idea what's going on here because it's all very hidden secretive uh, you don't know what's going on with this person because I feel that they have not been forthcoming they haven't spoken about what's going on with them yeah I get they just kind of became MIA uh, missing in action how they feel about you Pisces judgment in reverse yeah they felt like they made a mistake here they made a, uh, a bad call okay so we're getting to it now it feels like there is something they did they made a bad choice uh, there it was a mistake 
but they made it. They made this choice and now they're worried. I, I feel like they're mm, they know that they if they want to reverse course here and come back to you Pisces that they're going to have to explain things. They're going to have to be uh, open and honest in order for you to use your judgment wisely. But I feel like this person doesn't want to reveal everything and that's going to be a problem. With this moon energy, they're going to have to come forward and reveal a lot. Reveal everything. That's what I'm getting. In order for them to receive forgiveness from you, Pisces. Now, what's hidden is the Five of Cups in reverse. Well, what's hidden here is your ability to move on from this quite quickly. I, I do feel that, Pisces, this is your energy. Yeah, I, I feel like uh, if this person, you know, it, it, it all depends on how long it takes for this individual to uh, get themselves together and come back to you with this apology. Because I have a feeling that if they leave it too long, I get that you may just move on. You may put closure on this yourself, Pisces. Let's see. What's hidden here is the Eight of Cups in reverse. What's hidden is that they will return. Uh, yeah, that they're coming back. But they have not revealed this. It's not like they've said, oh, ha hey Pisces, I'll be, I'll be missing and I won't be able to contact you for the next two or three weeks. But hey, I'll be back. No, you, you, they've just gone. They've, they've left and, and you haven't had a word from them. But they, I feel that they fully intend to return. Which is a little bit odd. Okay, let's see what the strength is for you. Pisces, we've got the Emperor in reverse. Mm. Well, I'm seeing this as you being able to recognize when someone is using their power in a negative way. It seems like this person has thought that they could leave you hanging, Pisces, and go and do something and come back. I feel that you, you, you're you on to this, though. Mm. I'm seeing this as you. I feel like you've been, you've, you've somehow been watching this person. Okay. So you've been watching this person. I don't think that they know that. Yeah, you've observed them. You've observed their actions and I feel you've already made a judgment. Okay, that's interesting. And I feel that your judgment here, Pisces, is that you're, you're already decided to move on. Because you've, you have seen something in this person. You've watched them. You didn't like what you saw. Okay. <coughs> King of Swords in reverse, that's the strength over here. Yeah, it's, it's, unfortunately I feel like this person, when they do come back, they're not going to be truthful. They're going to be holding things back and they're not going to be revealing, revealing everything. Now it's coming up as a strength for them. Because I do feel that this, unfortunately, this person is used to, used to lying. I feel like they, this is just kind of part of who, their makeup. Uh, they're very used to it. They're good at it. Uh, unfortunately, lying is a strength for them. They seem to have um, gotten away with things in the past by lying, by not revealing everything. Okay, not okay. My spirit guide is saying not exactly lying. It's really just being very secretive and not not volunteering information. Okay, mm. all right. Let's take a look at the challenge for you, Pisces. The Page of Swords. Well, the challenge is for you to find out the truth. 
to get the truth out of this person. It's going to be really difficult to do because I get them kind of being very, they seem to be very good at misdirection. Uh, it's like, it's a little bit like a, you know, you see those politicians where they never really, you are, they get asked a question, they never really give the response. It kind of feels like that. But they, but they are desperately wanting your forgiveness here. Which does put you, give you the upper hand, but I don't feel that they want to, they want to give you the upper hand. The challenge for this person is the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, they're, sit, they're sitting on something. They're sitting on some something that they don't want to reveal. They're hiding something pretty major that they, they're keeping locked up. They don't want, they don't, yeah, their challenge is not to reveal this, whatever this is, my goodness. Okay. In your environment, we've got the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, all right, now we're getting somewhere. Uh, Pisces, it, I'm picking up that this person is motivated by greed and money at the moment and that is the secret. Okay, so the, this person has hurt you, they, they seem to be coming back because out of greed. Mm. You're not, not great. In their environment we have the Two of Cups. Yeah, I do feel like they, they want to come in here now and, and have, uh, yeah, I feel like they're coming forward here expressing their love. <sighs> Is there love? <sighs> I do feel... Gosh, guys, I mean, it sounds really bad, but, but I'm getting this energy from this person. That love and money are pretty much the same thing for this individual. Gosh. Yeah. Um, mm. it's, it's intertwined. It's, it's linked. They will only offer love where they see value. And it, it has to do with money. Advice for you. Two of swords in reverse. Uh, not to be caught up in, in this person's words. I get that being quite charming. Uh, they have a lot of... Ch they're a charming liar. Oh my goodness. They're very, very like the golden tongue. And coming forward here um, with all of this nice fancy talk but you're being advised to look beyond that to get to the truth behind this to not get caught up in the glamour and the false expression of mm. well the, the thing is I'm having a bit of difficulty with with them with saying they don't you know just straight out saying they don't love you because I, I feel like this person does but their version of love is very linked with money I don't feel that they can love anyone who doesn't have some value to them and value to them is money prosperity abundance and keeping it Okay, now the challenge, oh sorry, the advice for this person is the Four of Swords. Mm. I feel like they're going to have to, uh, to give you some time to think about this. Uh, because this person's, they've hurt you by, uh, I feel, ghosting you, or keeping you on hold, leaving you hanging. Um, leaving you wondering what on earth is, is going on with this person. Uh, I do feel like they they did cause you pain, they did cause you hurt. Uh, was it a lot? Um, it's different for each one of you but I get for the majority of you what's hidden here is that you're actually 
already moving on from this emotionally speaking you've made a decision already about this person uh, it's saying to stick to your original perception and to not get blinded by this person's uh, fancy words uh, because I do feel like they're motivated uh, this asking for forgiveness and um, coming back for um, absolution here for redemption it's 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 motivated by greed I feel it's motivated by greed mm. Pisces let's see where this goes in the extended we'll look at the uh, the outcome cards we'll clarify we'll go further in depth uh, so please do join me there if this is your reading uh, the link is down below or you can join my band of gypsies and that will give you access at the top level for all of the readings here on uh, the extended so you can watch them through YouTube so uh, feel free to click on the join button below for more information or look in the box below as well uh, you can join my band of gypsies and get uh, you can also get early access to the YouTube readings as well so that's a nice perk but before we go let's get another card here Pisces if you'd like a, a personal reading you can email me gypsyinsights at gmail.com or you can go to my Etsy shop the, and the link is down below uh, no matter how many subscribers I end up with here guys I'll always offer personal readings I feel it's very important uh, to keep that in uh, I feel as tarot readers we can become quite uh, uh, complacent or even a bit uh, not challenged or uh, striving to get better if we just focus on gen very general readings which are let's face it not not particularly um, most readings on youtube are very just generic in nature they could literally be any sign you pop into you could kind of make it your own but uh, uh, my readings are very more detailed more specific uh, they're more geared towards people who are dealing with uh, specific issues in their life sometimes they will resonate with you sometimes they won't uh, if the, it doesn't resonate feel free to check out your other placements uh, one of those may be your issue okay let's have a look here guys uh, Pisces I want a message here for Pisces please message for Pisces what does Pisces need to hear message for Pisces don't forget to press that little like button uh, share me on your social media that's the best way you can support my channel right now leave me a comment down below and if you're a newcomer I'd love to have you please do consider pressing that notification bell it says lean in anyway I'm gonna read the message with that one lean in anyway when fear says it cannot be done it's time to lean in has your fear gotten in the way of you pursuing your dreams? <clears throat> when fear takes over and your doubts creep in, it's easy to walk away from all that you want. Okay, all right. So I feel that that's what this person has done. It seems like they have gotten fearful, gotten scared, and rather than lean in, I feel like they have gone out. Uh, without telling you why really uh, and I feel like they've walked away they've walked away now there's an energy around them of being destructive out of fear but rather than do that they're being advised to lean in they feel discomfort because there's there's change around you seem to be triggering them in some way Pisces to change and that's disturbing them okay they feel doubt because they're moving toward what they want their fear is triggered because desire is activated within their heart giving up now is not the solution okay all right so they're being advised even though I feel that you're a being quite honest I get an energy of you being rather a bit dismissive about this person when they come in but they're being rather than fear your response or fear yeah I, I do get them being fearful of your response they need to lean in anyway if they want you Pisces they need to lean in anyway feel the fear and do it anyway 
Yeah, giving up is not the solution. Hmm. Will they come in? Well, I feel at the moment they're just kind of thinking about it. I feel like they're, they're taking some time to think things through. I still get this very strong energy though that when they come in they're not going to be revealing everything. Now that may or may not be a good thing. You know, sometimes we don't need to know all the details. Some of it may be too hurtful to hear is what I'm hearing. Some of it, may, if you heard it, you may, you may completely say no to this individual, which actually may not be what is best for you. So I do feel like there is some things that they need to keep from you, uh, only because it, it wouldn't really serve you to know them. I feel that they'd just be too, too hurtful for you. Uh, Pisces that, that's kind of what I'm getting but this person if they if I feel that they really do want to apologize I feel it is heartfelt uh, there is greed attached to this uh, that is also something that <laughs> they're being advised to to kind of <laughs> yeah uh, I feel like there's some kind of financial situation that, that, that they're, they're not going to divulge to you Pisces. That's kind of what I'm getting. You know, if you're fearing this person and you're fearing what they have to say, my spirit guide is saying, hear them out, take the blinders off though and hear, and hear them, watch them, study them, study them. Study them to see if you trust them, is what my spirit guide is saying. But give them the benefit of the doubt coming in. Try not to get paranoid. Okay, benefit of the doubt, watchful, mindful, study them when they are apologizing to you and then make your determination but we'll look at that in the extended again we'll look at the clarif at the uh, the outcome cards and we'll be clarifying about a 30 minute reading so please do join me there link is down below or you can join my band of gypsies okay guys wishing you the best of this pisces thanks again for watching please do take care and bye for now